Right, good day you lot. Now a couple of people have asked me, how do you clean your silver? How do you clean silver? In general, I think. Um, I do it a few different ways. Sometimes I will use the good old fashioned silicone bang. I'll use that on stuff. It's alright, I mean I wouldn't use it on hammer coins, hammer silver. I'm talking um, milled silver. Some of the silver coins I don't really care about, if you like. Now, I've got a crown here. This was black. Absolutely black. I cleaned it with silicone bang. Um, a couple of videos ago, I'll stick a link up. Um, as you can see, I mean it's lovely now. It's got a lovely silver coin. Now, I've got a way I haven't really used too much. What I'm going to do, boil some water in a saucepan. We're going to line this box with some tin foil. And then I've got a silver, silver cup here. And I've got a silver Victoria. It is a sixpence. It's not in the best condition. It's very tarnished, but I've got um, some tin foil trays. So we're going to put the hot water in there. And then to the hot water, in both cases, we're going to add a bit of bicarbonate of soda. Some people call it baking soda. I think that's an American thing, I'm not sure. Um, we will chuck a ton of that in. And then apparently, through the magic of science and witchcraft, the reaction of the soda, the hot water and the tin foil takes all the tarnish off the silver. I'm going to try that, that coin in one of them. This cup is absolutely awful. Now if it gets some of this off I'll be impressed. I'll turn it round. That, that's the side. I had a go at that with some, um, here we go, some Silvo tarnish guard, some Silvo cleaner. Now that, that little bit there took me at least half an hour and I can't get it all out, I can't get it all out the marks and there's some, there's some detail, not masses of detail but to do that cup would take forever so I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to sink it in halfway and we do a half and half apparently it's supposed to be really quick you can leave it apparently for about 5 minutes depending on the degree of tarnish um, you might have to leave it in there longer, and I'm expecting this to be in there a lot longer. Um, I did try a handle as well. Again, that, I mean, just that, and it's, it's awful, it's rubbish, it's not a good finish. So I'm hoping this way will be good. So I'm going to boil some water, we'll take the tub outside, because I don't want anything to go wrong in my kitchen, and there'll be litres and litres of boiling water everywhere. I don't think there'll be any fumes. I was going to do it under the extractor, but... I'll do it outside just to stop any mess. Right, I'll boil some water, I'll set it all up and we'll get back and we'll have a look. Right, the water is on the boil. I've got two saucepans because it's quite a big tub. Um, I'm going to transfer that water into the plastic tub and I hope it doesn't split. And then we will um, go from there. Right, here is said plastic tub and cup set up. Underneath there I've got way more, I think, bicarbonate of soda than I need. I just tipped a load in. It's quite cheap. You can get it from the supermarket in one of them boxes. And uh, yeah, I'm going to tip the water in. I'm going to leave both hands so I can put you down. Come back briefly and then we'll leave it for about five minutes. Check it. Probably leave it a lot longer. I'll put the coin in a little aluminium foil tin next to it, just down there. And uh, we'll do them both at the same time. Okay, so dump the water in. It's bubbling away really well around that handle, so hopefully it means it's doing something. A little coin, a little Vicky threepence is in there, and we will come back to this in five minutes. Right, so I've emptied it out. As you can see in there, it's turned the um, tin foil black, and my hand's black, just picking the thing up. But the difference already, there was no shine on that side. It looked so that dark black band there, it looked like that all the way around. And that's been sitting, that handle looks lovely, it's been sitting in that solution um, for about half an hour, 45 minutes. Now I could go over that with that silvo and I could bring it up to look a bit like this side. 
but I'll probably soak it for some more. Get some more of the ingrain stuff off, like up there in that crevice near the handle and the rim. And then we'll go over it with silver. The coin, I dropped the coin in with the cup because it seemed to work better. Because the uh, water was cooling down in that tray. Look at that. I haven't touched that with anything. I just cleaned it off with a sponge. Rinsed it under clean water. That's come up a treat. That's one lovely looking little Victorian coin there. Yeah, that doesn't need any more. So what I do, I'll, I'll, I'll dump this in another another solution uh, of boiling water and bicarbonate and uh, see what it comes out like. I want this to shine like a new penny. I want it shining like that. I mean, it is an old cup. I got it at an auction. It had been sitting in a box of junk, but I want to make it shine. So we're going to have another go. Okay, so we've had the cup in the solution. This is a fresh solution. This is the old tin foil. As you can see, it's drawn out all the muck onto the aluminium foil there. I gave it two sessions for that, refreshed the water, added some more bicarbonate of soda, and I've just done another solution in there. Um, it's at an angle because I wanted to get it half the cup at least done. Filling that bucket would have been immense. So we've had three different goes with it, and look at that, that's quite amazing. There on the side, I had to go with some Silvo, just to see how easy it is to polish at this stage. Um, and we've got a little bit around the edge here. That band of black there, that's how it looked in the beginning. And as you can see, it's pretty much there. I mean, it will, look at that. All around the lip there, that was dark black, looked like the inside really, although the inside is starting to go as well. Um, half of that was submerged. Very impressed. It's not going to take long now with the silver just to polish that to a shine. That takes out so much elbow grease. You could obviously chuck it in there, I don't know, another two or three times and you'd probably get it all off. But I'm thinking it's cut out most of the work. And uh, I think that's how I would polish silver. So the bicarbonate soda method, yeah, definitely gets a thumbs up from me. It's very cheap. Uh, just one box of that will probably do a cup this size. Where are we? This is the coin. I chucked this coin in with the cup because it was just easier. Um, it's got most of it off. There's a little bit of tarnish left. And that side, there's some ingrained still, but that's lovely. These are some of the other ones I have done previously then just finished it off with silver some of this stuff, tarnish gold yeah, it's brilliant stuff right, I'm going to clean that up and I'll let you know how long it takes after the majority has been blasted off with the bicarbonate of soda this should not take long ok, 15 minutes I've spent cleaning the, the areas that we attacked with the bicarbonate of soda 15 minutes and I used that much silver wadding cloth, I mean look at the state of my hands, I should have worn a glove, but that's the only little bit I used, 15 minutes of my time, and look at this, I'm amazed how well that has come out, I mean, I cleaned the front of it, this bit, this part here with all the lettering, um, before I used the bicarbonate of soda, that took me nearly half an hour just to clean that bit there, because it was so stubborn, just with the silver cloth, Dipping it in bicarbonate of soda, and then uh, and then attacking it with that silver cloth it takes out so much time. And it amazed. There's a section I'd left to show you what it looked like before. I mean that section there, you can hear it. It feels rough. It's horrid. It feels horrible. And now it's lovely. Just got to clean the inside and pack it out with some tin foil and put the water inside and then we will be done. Amazing. Yes, so I can highly recommend tin foil, bicarbonate of soda, knock off the bad stuff and then a little bit of this magic stuff. It's brilliant or something similar. Probably any silver metal polish. Cuts down your polishing time oh, by hours and I think the end product is pretty cool. I was going to 
I don't know what, I was going to take this to the charity shop and get rid of it. It literally been kicking around in my shed after it turned up in a box of stuff from an auction. Owes me nothing, but now I think I'm going to keep it. It's nearly 100 years old. Amazed. Right, thank you for watching. Um, it Not just a, a, a video that appeals to metal detectors from cleaning silver. I thought I'd do something big just to give you a proper idea and anyone that wants to clean silver of this technique, highly recommend it. Right, I'll catch you lot later.